Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My dear chums, uh, being on the stage tonight reminds me very much of uh, the first time I ever fell in love. Hmm? Remember that happy occasion? Walked into a pub, and there before me a vision of beauty as if descended from Mount Olympus itself. The face of an angel, eyes that could bore deep into the very fabric of her soul, hair flowing long, flaxen and golden. Size 10, shoes, <laughs> massive, huge feet, seriously, large clod hoppers, which is fine because I myself am a size 11, and as you know, gentlemen, big feet, big hands, it's true. <laughs> so after a few weeks of relationship, I, um, I thought maybe a little nickname, a term of endearment might be appropriate. Looking back, Bigfoot was a bad idea. <laughs> I was immediately dispatched the red card and shown the door, as you do. But that's fine. You live and learn. So these days, I'm very fortunate. I uh, live with my wonderful partner. She's fantastic. She's a little different. She's uh, from Germany. Deutsche, ja. Yeah. <laughs> jawohl, jawohl, ich ein lieber Alkohol. <laughs> now, obviously, she doesn't actually speak like that. It's like demonic, quite frankly. So, you know. So, uh, yes, he, um, it's interesting because there are massive cultural differences between the Germans and the Brits. So I thought I'd do some research. So I went to a bookshop, remember them? Bought a book. And it was interesting because the book said the difference between the German and the Brits are significant and immense. So one example is, uh, let's take, for example, intimate relations. Yes, or dare I say the SEX word. My book said, and I quote, to a German person having intimate relations is a banal activity, just like putting out the bins. <laughs> putting out the bins? Dear God above. For an elderly English gentleman like myself, this was a completely alien idea. From my personal experience of intimate relations, they required detailed negotiations about intimate relations in the first place. You didn't just put the bins out. No, 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 no. The way I describe it, it's a bit like um, trying to agree a, a pay award of the trade union movement, basically. <laughs> yeah, yes, you have to negotiate long and hard. Collective bargaining is required, let me tell you. And, as always, money has to change. No, actually, my money had to change hands. <laughs> Let's get it right, shall we? So, of course, when she actually moved in, I could not believe my luck. The uh, bins were put out on a regular basis. <laughs> as far as I was concerned, I'd won the National Lottery and the World Cup all at once. It was great. So one Saturday afternoon, we sat watching the telev television, and um, I said to her, my leave and Milchen, the adverts are coming in shortly. How about we go into the back garden and uh, put out the bins? <laughs> Vos, is this darkness you speak of? You plan to play Heidi Schnitzel in the garden? <laughs> nine, 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 nine. No, 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 you misunderstand. What I'm suggesting, it's very exciting. Ah, got him himmel, yeah, yeah. Raus, schnell, Achtung! So off we go into the garden. I decide the best thing, quick reconnaissance, no sign of the neighbours. So I thought I'd adopt, for the sake of the exercise, the, uh, what the RF call rear gunner position, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So I proceed to uh, put out the bins. <laughs> All is going swimmingly when suddenly to my abject horror, I hear my next door neighbor, Janet. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on next door, but I'm trying to water my geraniums. Well, yes, Janet. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> anyway, I shouted back, listen, Janet, don't worry. I've almost finished, almost finished my sortie. In fact, oh, hang on, some of the crowd are on the pitch. They think it's all over, it is now. <laughs> So these days, of course, it's a bit different, really. Uh, complacency sets in, doesn't it? Kills passion. Nowadays, the bins go out once a month. I'm lucky. Birthdays, Christmas. <laughs> David Hasselhoff's birthday. That's a special day. <laughs> Good old half. So, sadly, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, last year, I'm afraid I had to have life-saving surgery. I was uh, very ill. And uh, basically, I ended up in a place called the CCU, or Critical Care Unit. Now, uh, half an hour after I woke up, a very nice nurse called Sally came in. She said, I'm going to introduce your man to your new best friend. I said, oh, lovely. She said, see that white button on the left of the bed? I said, yes. The letter M written on it in green? Yes. That's Mr. Morphine. Oh, is it now? <laughs> Happy days, I thought. Happy days. Well, 20 minutes later, I was completely out of my tree. <laughs> Hadn't got a clue what the hell was going on. Gibberish. Doctors, nurses, family, friends, all got the same treatment. Next day, it got worse. Sent my mate Andy a text message. Hello, mate. I've just come second in the Grand National. <laughs> Immediate reply. 
WTF, World Wildlife Fund, he loves animals. You, are, you haven't even got a horse, mate. I said, I didn't need one. I said, I'd have won it and stumbled the final furlong. <laughs> so, basically, uh, I was born with an unusual name, Austin Lloyd Burks. Don't get many in the older yellow pages, so I had to look on Facebook to see if I could find anybody else out there who shared the same name as me. And I found, to my delight, a young 19-year-old American track and field athlete from Milwaukee. And every Sunday afternoon, now and again, I get a nice message, be lying there, watching Bargain Hunt in my pyjamas, eating Battenberg German cake, and uh, <laughs> enjoying Earl Grey tea, when suddenly I discover I've done a new personal best for the 1,500 metres, apparently. <laughs> my coach is delighted. <laughs> so, basically, um, got me thinking about unusual names people have. Found a young girl called Hashtag. What the, what the hell does that mean? Hashtag. I mean, I think it means label, so what, just give her a name, you know? <laughs> Devon, Devon's a lovely name, English County. But I haven't met people who've called um, Outer Hebrides or West Midlands local to home, actually. <laughs> Not many of those around. So basically, the strangest name I came across was uh, a gentleman from Java, whose name is, can you believe it, Batman Bin Superman, yeah? <laughs> so yes, uh, I think my time is almost up, so um, if you liked it, my name is Austin Lloyd Burks. If not, Batman, put the bins out, Superman. Thank you. <laughs> You've been wonderful. Please, let me give it up for our top individual fundraiser, Austin Burks. <laughs>